In this quick tip, we're going to show you how to format headings inside of Excel. And so when we want to do headings inside of Excel, we might want them to look something like this, where we have a single cell that combines multiple cells and shows up above other things. And then we might do things like this left turn of text. So we're going to take a look at this real quick. Um, what I can do anytime that I want to take a set of cells and merge them and center. I can hit merge and center. I can also do the same thing if I go into format cells and then in format cells under alignment I can say merge cells. I can hit OK. So now I've got A and B and those are merged cells. I'm going to go ahead and do that last little bit for major heading C. Now minor 1, 2, and 3 what I want to do here is not so much merge cells but I want to change the text so that it displays differently. And so I can do this and rotate it. What that will allow me to do is then put them up on edge. I, of course, could rotate in the other direction. If I select all three of these cells together, I can then shrink them so that there's just enough room for the text. Now, I've cropped out the major heading a little bit, so I'll expand that a bit. So now I've got vertical text. Another thing that you can do very quick and easy inside of Excel is you can take a really long heading. You see some really long heading. You can go back into Format Cells and you can turn on Wrap Text. And when you turn on Wrap Text, it makes the cell height, the row height, high enough to get everything in the cell. And of course, I didn't do that for this next cell, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And when I do that, we have a set of headings that, that show the left orientation of the text and also one that shows the wrap text inside of a cell.